Aloha kakou, what is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is your first time joining me at the table of truth as I open up space for divine messages to flow in, whatever is meant to be seen, spoken, and shared. This is a time I get to really reflect and connect with self and align with divine. So mahalo for being here. Also, welcome back if you've already taken time to subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick second to just remind you, if you didn't know already, that this is part two of a two-part video so to check out the first part go ahead and click on the link in the description box and yeah um the next clip is gonna essentially just be a recap of the last part of part one so let's get into it is this obstacle is push through the obstacles I'm just kind of pulling from various decks, but I'm feeling like, let me draw from the Gaia card. Because um, I might do a quick dreamer's spread. Yeah, let's do a dreamer's spread. Alright, I had to go run and grab my book so I can recall um, each position. But we're going to do the dreamer's spread, which is just, this is a good way to kind of dive into the mind. And like, shine a light on the dreams and hopes of the dreamer, who is you. So to kind of add a little bit, hopefully more of a positive twist. Actually, no, I won't use the Gaia deck itself. I'll kind of go back and forth between the Gaia deck and the um, Wild Goddess for Quebec. So the first position is the dreamer position, and that is basically um, you. All right, and... So this card represents you and it reflects on your present vibration. We saw the innermost workings of the mind um, with these cards, but let's get a little bit of a different perspective perhaps. So current vibrations, dreamer card, current vibes, who are you darling, who are you? Mm. Shadow. Making a friend and ally of your shadow side is necessary for becoming your authentic self, a key element of true success. Do not deny the shadows. I always like to come on here and basically say that this is a time I get to really open up spaces for divine messages and divine truth to come in, whatever is meant to be seen, spoken, and shared. And that's not always going to be cute and pretty. And bountiful and just pleasant and harmonious. Sometimes we really got to look at our bullshit. And that is what I feel like we're doing currently. This is shining a light on our bullshit. And let's get from the Gaia deck. Um, the second position of the dreamer's spread. And this is going to be for the unconscious mind. Whatever is dwelling within your unconscious mind at the moment. What is, you know... Is it in harmony with your present vibration? All right, so unconscious mind position. Unconscious mind. Fire. I'm seeing possible conflict here, but it's in reverse, so let's see. We have five of fire. Rivalry, competition, aggression, conflict, discord, chaos, obstacles. All right, that shadow, that's our shadow. And did I not say in the beginning of this video that, you know, what I was feeling was that confusion, that competitiveness, that, that comparison. And here we are, our shadows getting fucking called out. This is what is in some of y'all's unconscious mind. And if it's not you specifically, it could be how someone is feeling towards you currently. Yeah, so this is symbolizing chaos conflict confrontation either at hand presently or just ahead someone now may see themselves or others as a rival or competitor and may be willing to use ruthless or aggressive measures to come out on top selling their motherfucking souls sacrificing themselves to the motherfucking devil to attach themselves through spell work perhaps through, through you know the words that they speak the spells that they cast, right? Damn. 
I don't know. Like I said, it's very it's a time to really be cautious with the steps that you take, but also the the friends that you make, right? Because some of them ain't always gonna have your best interest at heart. So let me see. That is so the third position is your past, I believe. Yes, your past. What has shaped you? And it's from this past that influences your your present. So let's just take from the Gaia. Past energy influences emotions. Hold on, let me see what this fire card too, the um, five of fire. Yeah, okay, so again, it's still competition and stuff, but in the reverse, it's talking about a need to address um, a belief that your idea is unique and that nobody has ever thought of or acted on a concept prior to you. So this competition, this competitor, this comparison vibe, I'm feeling like somebody is um, projecting onto you or you're doing that to someone else, and it's really telling you, slow your motherfucking roll, you ain't the end-all be-all, you haven't been the only one to do this shit, whatever it is that you're comparing your reality to theirs or them comparing their shit to yours, it's basically saying, uh, copycat I'm seeing. Now you're, it's, you're, you're dueling with this person and maybe this person isn't even aware, maybe you're just sitting in the motherfucking shadows, literally, um, comparing yourself to this person and hating on everything they're doing and thinking that they're copying your vibe and your essence and shit when really spirit's telling you hold up slow your roll like you're not the only one that can uh have good ideas or be unique or to be perceived as someone extraordinarily unique or whatever you know it says your perception is unique and if you are not simply copying another then the form in which you express your creativity will be unique also do not attack another just because they have had the same idea or are influenced by the same or similar beliefs and goals so definitely somebody out there this this copycat energy y'all need to fucking take this into consideration instead of worrying about what others are doing focus on creating something of quality Offer a higher level of service, and most of all, be a visionary and express what you see in your mind's eye with skill and clarity. So that's what we motherfucking doing. Yes, mahalo nui divine for that information. Because even then, even when the truth hurts, or it might be uh, causing a fire energy to, to, to spark within you, cool it down with the water, the sensitivity, you know? Okay, so... It signifies an inability or an unwillingness to yield and be flexible. You stubborn as shit, huh? You just can't accept the truth. Mm -hmm. But remember, that which does not bend will eventually break. It is better to achieve your goals by being fluid. Yes, fluid, not fire. Water can find any crack, any opening, and use it to its advantage. If contained, it becomes still and peaceful, calm and waiting, receptive. Yes. External forces can make waves and ripples, but when the force is removed, stillness and calm are quickly restored. Release the water from its container and it will follow the path of least resistance, flowing around, over, or underneath any obstacle in its path and overcoming with natural ease and grace. So yeah, this is definitely a motherfucking lesson. This is your, um, this is your past energy and how it's influenced your present, present bags. But I'm also seeing like currently you're, there's a lot of shadows to be worked on and that's your um, need to constantly compare yourself to another or for someone to do that about you and, and your inability or unwillingness to be flexible and fluid and learn from your situations. That's what's causing this motherfucking energy right here. Okay. Um, and we have the position of the immediate future. I'm going to go ahead with the wild goddess. Oracle. Immediate future energy. This card was the free spirit, but it came in reverse. So I'm seeing you're not allowing yourself to be free, to be fluid, to change. It says you can only change yourself. Never mind trying to worry about someone else and be stubborn. Now is the time to unleash your free spirit, not try to blend in and be the same as everyone else. But you're not doing that. So this is really calling out our shadows, huh? This is really calling out some bullshit. Definitely, definitely. So this is our immediate future position. Now let's go into the long-term future. Okay, I'm going to see it as one position. 
long term future unable to see the truth because this is the secret card so i'm seeing this as your inability that inflexibility to really embrace and receive the meaning of life with gratitude and patience and compassion there is that other word i used in the beginning we got confusion we got freaking competition and, and comparison and we got the compassion patience gratitude your inability to do that so your long-term position is you having trouble with that but it's time to really like open up yourself to learning traveling communicating your ideas to the world or having the world do that to you to, to, to be a receiver of truth by opening up those those spaces of acceptance and doing so with gratitude and patience and compassion that is what is going to allow you to reach that higher self to connect with that higher self in a way that you can help teach others you know damn there's a lot to the emotions section in this book but this is just overall talking about um the influence that our feelings and emotions have upon our choices and our decisions the positive feelings and emotions that have the most influence upon us are love joy gratitude peace or serenity hopefulness inspiration amusement pride awe and curiosity we also feel a range of negative emotions with the primary examples being fear anger disgust jealousy sadness regret loss and hate the key message of the emotions card is that feelings and emotions are neither good nor bad all are necessary and each and every emotion we experience has both a positive and a negative element to its nature so in reverse though we're talking about a blockage and it symbolizes the need to address the common symptoms of emotional repression in your life repressed emotions can have real and lasting impacts on the body mind and spirit of course it does because you can see this motherfucking reading and this is your conscious mind position so you're not allowing empathy and compassion to to come into play in order to help uh redirect your path and redirect your reality that's what's causing you to emotionally be inflexible or yeah inflexible immovable imbalanced it says, um, and hiding behind a mask of peace, love, and light, all of these things are behaviors we may use to hide from our emotions. We can use these behaviors to hide from our emotions, but we cannot deny those emotions or control them. So what we are feeling will find a way to be expressed, and that's what's coming out in our confusion that we're feeling in the current energy flow, in our present energy. That's what I guess I was feeling, is all it is shit. I mean, like I said, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, just let it go but definitely there was a lot to be sifted through and, and, and spoken about so let's finish up this um reader so this was a conscious mind that inability to to be empathetic and to to have compassion for others now blockage let's see let's see what the tarot let's just get tarot real quick let's see what our blockage is current blockage Yeah, fuck. Showing those emotions. Ten of Cups reversed. That inability to show motherfucking emotions, compassion. Because all of that leads towards your healing. Towards your ability to free your spirit, free your mind from the heaviness, the burdens, the shackles and the motherfucking chains. Alright, that's your blockage. Now, let's see what... Um, Okay, the next position is guide. A potential guide or energy. This will strengthen you and work with any blockages. What will help strengthen our blockages? Motherfucking empathy. Learn to protect your sensitivities and cultivate boundaries to create a safe space in which you and your desires to be of service can thrive. So basically, tuning in to your sensitivities, your emotions allowing yourself to heal with that water energy and that's probably why we we picked it up from the get-go uh the cancer the cancer card so this is you know like i said obviously we could be talking to a cancer 
uh, or someone who has heavy placement of cancer in their charts, but this is definitely a dive into truth seeking that is reflective of our need to stop putting on a fucking mask. Really tune in, dive into our emotional uh, disconnections with self and with spirit. And let's get one overall expression. I don't know if I'm going to do it. From, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to pull from a different deck. This is the uh, Native Heart Healing Oracle. So let's just, this will be like a gentler word of truth um, to finish up the dreamer's spread. So the expression position is the um, 11th position. And this is just the key to unlocking a potential direction for your creative flow to see like how to, to move past the blockages and the walls and the barriers and the confusion and chaos. So let's get a final card. All right. Right there. Self-focus. Let's see what this is. All right, so... So this is the expression card for the dreamer spread. We have card number 23 from the Native Heart Oracle, Healing Oracle deck. Say yes. Honor your needs. Consensual relationship. The self-focused mandala relates to the gift of self-love and self-nourishment. You are being guided to bring your focus to yourself as you are embarking on an incredible adventure where you will encounter new levels of self. As you do so, it is ever important to gift yourself a daily ritual of self-nourishment and care. Reassess what your soul needs to become the beautiful flower you are. As you notice old ways of being falling away, take time to discover and nurture new aspects of yourself that are quickly becoming your advanced human form. Love them, embrace them as you would another. On another level, this self-focused mandala speaks of consent Allow yourself to be loved by another. Allow yourself to be seen. Again, taking those masks off, yeah? Allow the unbridled passion within a relationship without the restrictions of time past. <sighs> so this is really self-love, self-care, empathy, compassion, washing over the confusion and the chaos and the lack of control and the disconnection and the inflexibility and, and the lack of freedom and the shadows, right? And the emotionless energy. The way we can heal this is through our empathy and through our self-love and self-care. So definitely I feel like this message is going to help someone out there specifically. And if you resonate, please just take this with an open heart and open mind to help aid in your healing. Yes. Because I feel like, you know, we need to tune out of the rubbish. We need to tune out of the shit that's been keeping us distracted. All of the social media and the, the news and all the everybody else's traumas and shit like that. It's too triggering and, and it's non-productive towards our own healing. So tune out of that and tune into a space of calmness, clarity, compassion, peace. You know, that is that is our self-focus. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and also go ahead and subscribe if you are so compelled. I appreciate you being here once more. And I will see you in my next video. With love, light, and always aloha.